Happy Saturday. <sighs> All right, I'm going to show whoever I'm sending this to um, how I'm using Beehive to set up my email course. Um, so also, yeah, like the also really helpful is just like reading, like I can add this article to the loom too, but just understanding like the terminology and just trying to figure out like what, what, what all these words mean in their whole ecosystem is really helpful for me because I also like, you know, I'm still trying to learn some of this stuff too as I go. But, um, the main thing, there's a couple, there's a couple moving pieces. First one is, so I have my landing page. Let me just refresh this. I got to fix that last part there, but basically uh, EEC, an educational email course. I didn't know what it was, but it's just an email sequence where you're providing free value of something you know how to do and you're just walking them through day by day and kind of like dripping that value for them. And I guess the goal here is to just get more people to subscribe to your email list and like maybe it's like when they subscribe, you could also say, do you want to opt in for this free email course, yada, yada, and just already just showing how much value you're giving for free to keep them engaged and to keep them opening your emails and just to have them remember that over time. Um, and then you also know who, who like, who uh, subscribed to those email courses. So you know who's interested. And then you could even put those people into like a segment of your audience where you can, um, you know, like probably push more products or something because you know, they're already in that kind of mindset of like, they're trying to learn. Uh, so you could probably sell like a service or like a done with you, done for you type thing. Um, but yeah, basically this is my card uh, landing page and the way that uh, it works, like you literally don't need to know any of this other shit right now. All you need to know is like how I get this form right here, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. But first we're going to talk about the automations. So uh, automations is in your beehive and it will be in the audience tab right here. You do need to have the lowest tier paid plan. So for me, I, I have that because <coughs> I want to use all the automations for different workflows, like whether it's using combination like make.com automations and I need the API keys and webhooks from uh, Beehive and also just using automations for like welcome sequences and other informational like courses I want to make. Um, so that's why I have it. So assuming you have it, you will click on automations and then you're just going to click new automation right here. And I'm just going to show you like this whole process first, and then I'll show you the automation that I'm making. So we'll just say like my three day EEC bro. Cause, uh, yeah. Uh, let's say, yeah, like EEC on how to be a bro. And then you save automations. And then the first thing that it's going to happen is you have this trigger and this is like the special event. This is like the thing that kicks off the entire thing. So there's different types of triggers. Uh, so when you click on it, you're going to see signed up, email submitted, survey submitted, poll response, all these different shits. The only one that I'm using is I'm using email submitted. And the key difference, if you may be wondering, is there's signed up and email submitted. Signed up is if it's a new subscriber, then it will only work for them. But email submitted means if they submit their email. So let's say it's a subscriber of yours and then they've been following you on Twitter and then you launch your email course and they go to get the, get the course and they're like, wait, bro, what happened? Like, I, I, I put my email in and you're like, shit, I said it to signed up, not email submitted. Oh, could happen to anybody. But uh, so you will click this and then here it will say any subscribe form, right? Now, this is where you will have to select the subscribe form that you want to embed that I showed you on the card website. So let me show you what that uh, process looks like for making the forms. Um, you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to uh, publication. And then you're going to go to subscribe forms all the way over here, all the way to the right. And here's where you create a new form. It will ask you to fill out just a bunch of different stuff. Uh, you really don't need to worry about too much here. I'll show you just the one that I made for myself. And then you can just look at that. So edit. And you'll see it's like, okay, the name is the five day AI content repurposing mastery from long form to viral tweets header. I need it. Uh, 
<laughs> but it's okay because we don't show that on the actual uh, website, so it's all it's all good. Um, yeah, so this is how I'm filling it out, and uh, okay, I guess I will I will mention it here. There's a redirect URL right here, and that I have set up in my card um, website because if you see in card, there's a special thing you can do where there's like a done section, and then it'll say, oh my god, look at that. Uh, you can, it's done. So once you submit it, it will send you to like that, like right. Let me just show you just so you know. It'll send you to this URL after you submit that. So that is pretty much um, how that works. And once you've created the form, you're gonna view it. And then this is where you get all the different embed options. And I just chose the slim embed because yeah, I don't want the beehive logo there. I don't want, I don't, we don't need to see, I need it, uh, <laughs> maybe another time, but you'll just copy and paste this uh, bad mamma jamma and you'll go back to your uh, site. And here there's a special type of element called an embed. So you'll just add an embed wherever it makes sense for you. And then you'll put the code here. Now, another thing, this is just something I did is because it only gives you the iframe and you'll notice I have a div here. Maybe you're not, you know, you're not a coder. Just take a screenshot of this and upload it to like Claude or ChatGPT and just say, yo, like, can you make this so it's centered? Because this is what it looked like before. And I was like, yo, can we just make this centered? And then it did, it made it centered. So the beauty of AI just making all the headaches go away. But yeah, so anyways, that form that you saw that, so now it's embedded, we're gonna select that and boom. That is pretty much it. So email submitted. So that's like how you set up the trigger. And that is kind of like the whole, I would say that's honestly like the like the hardest part for me was like just figuring out like how does this connect to that, connect to this. But um, other than that, it was pretty much just like going through, uh, going through everything. So if I go here and I have the, the, the course, uh, it's like, okay, so first update subscription. Uh, so it's like, I'm just saying status to active. And then I'm also saying enrolled in AI content multiplier to true. So this is like a custom field that I set for myself. Uh, you don't really need to do that kind of stuff. We send the welcome email and then the time delay. Obviously I'm going to change this to one day, like wait a day after, uh, they send the first email. I just set it to three minutes. So I could, uh, if you, if you go over here, you'll see that I have all of them right there. Um, so it's just like, I'm setting them, uh, just like go through and read all of them at once, but this is pretty much how it works. And so like when you want to, uh, go and send that email, you would say, send email, like there's send email here and you'd click on configure step, create new email and then you just write the email and you can preview it. You can send a test to yourself. And that's pretty much uh, how that works. And yeah, that's pretty much, that's literally, that's literally it. So if I missed anything, just let me know, but this is pretty much all you need to know to set it up with a uh, card, e email sequence, uh, you need the email uh, sign up form. And it's the, end. remember it's submit, submit email, not sign up because sign up will exclude your existing subscribers, which who, you know, those are probably the people that are going to want the course more because they already know you, uh, in my opinion. So thanks for watching. Peace.